Hi, my name is Michael Wren, and you're about to hear a life-changing story of how a 57-year-old man, pronounced by doctors to be dead in six months because of his weight, manages to miraculously lose 53 pounds in six weeks and saves his own life. Yes, you didn't hear it wrong. 53 pounds in six weeks, going from this to this without any surgery or drugs whatsoever. And you'll be shocked, even outraged, when you discover the unconventional method used to melt away all the unwanted body fat in such a short period of time. After failing miserably for years, trying to lose weight following the usual advice by fitness experts, such as drinking a lot of water, dieting, and exercising, the breakthrough came from an unlikely source, a biology research lab located at one of the top universities in California. A method so strange, so effective, and so controversial, you'll never see this on mainstream TV. And in the next five minutes, you'll also find out the vicious lies that $21 billion health industry is feeding you that not only hinders your weight loss efforts, but also wrecks your health. Lies such as, why drinking just eight eight-ounce glasses of water a day is one of the fastest ways to accelerate the aging process. The counterintuitive reason why low-calorie dieting practically guarantees that you will keep gaining weight and adding fat to your stomach even if you work out five, six, or seven times per week. Why you should not exercise for more than 30 minutes a week. Latest research shows exercising more than that actually ruins your metabolism and literally forces fat to stick on you. But more importantly than all of that, if you stick with me to the very end of this short video that may not be up for long, you're also going to be shown the exact fat-destroying method used, scientifically proven to rapidly and permanently melt away every spare ounce of fat on your body, dramatically skyrocketing your vitality, energy, and sex drive, significantly lower your risks for major diseases like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes, and reversing the effects of aging on your body by decades in as little as a few short weeks from now. This fat-destroying method will bring you a total physical transformation, requires zero prescription medications, restrictive diets, overpriced but ineffective weight loss products, or calorie counting, and will work for people of any age, any body type, and in any state of physical health, because this scientific method is based on sound biology. Before we go any further, however, it's important that I give you a fair warning. The weight loss industrial complex, along with their Judas Cow ringleaders, the evil marketing masterminds behind Weight Watchers, the Atkins Diet, and more, the ones who have been secretly making billions of dollars off of your pain and suffering while nodding, smiling, and quietly leading you straight to the slaughterhouse, are willing to spill blood to keep you from seeing the health secret that I'm about to give you right inside this video. That's because they know that once you do hear the truth, they'll never be able to steal another penny out of your pocket again. Just like the 79,411 others who use this method you're about to see in this video, and I'll show you proof in just a moment, you'll suddenly find that you have the physique of a 30-year-old, even if you're in your 60s, 70s, or 80s right now, and have flabby arms or a big-sized spare tire around your belly at the moment. You'll instantly look, feel, and be fundamentally healthier than you have in at least 20 years. And you'll find that all of the symptoms and causes of your most major health conditions, things like diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, chronic pain, even cancer, have completely faded away from your body in a manner that's so miraculous, it will make even the most adamant atheist scratching his head, looking up at the sky and screaming with raised fists that there is a God. Now, the secret I'm about to share with you is so simple, so easy to implement in your own life, and so powerful that it probably sounds almost unbelievable when you first hear about it. And you're likely wondering how something like this could possibly exist without you ever knowing about it, right? To be honest, I felt exactly the same way when this young medical graduate first told me about his revolutionary scientific breakthrough. I thought he was just some hotshot PhD who was full of you-know-what and that there was no way this could be real. But after observing the life-changing effects in my own body, and watching more than 79,411 others just like you and me try it for themselves and experience unbelievable, unheard of, and life-saving results, I am fundamentally convinced that what I'm about to share with you will not only give you the tone, lean physique that you've either always wanted but never had or once had and lost decades ago, but that it will totally and permanently revolutionize your health, reversing virtually all of your medical ailments, conditions, and diseases, and physically lower your age by at least 10 years. That's exactly what happened for Jim in Twin Falls, Idaho. 
He lost more than 15 pounds in less than two weeks. He was shocked when the pounds started coming off as if by magic. Alan from Abilene, Texas, lost 21 pounds in two and a half weeks. Or Maurice from Port Washington, New York, who used the simple method you're about to discover to lose 27 pounds in a month. Janet from Gulfport, Mississippi, she lost 35 pounds in less than six weeks. Not only she lost her unwanted body fat, she also looks way younger now. Here's what Bryce from Fort Myers, Florida says. What you shared in your presentation saved my life, and I'm not being dramatic. Before I watched your video, my doctor said I was 75 pounds overweight and had just been diagnosed with severe type 2 diabetes. I didn't think there was hope, and I thought I was going to die. Even though I was somewhat skeptical at first, you explained the science behind this in such a convincing and easy-to-understand fashion that I figured I'd give it a try. That was the best decision I've ever made. It's only been 24 days, but I've already lost 70 pounds. And incredibly enough, I'm medically no longer even considered a diabetic. I can't believe how powerful this stuff is. Thank you for sharing. Those are just a few of the tens of thousands of real-life success stories I've received, and I'll share a few more with you in a minute. But before I do, it's important I tell you who I am, how this works, and why it will not only transform your body, but also save your life. So, like I mentioned, my name is Michael Wren, and I'm 57 years old. This is a picture of me today. And here's a picture of what I looked like three years ago. Hell, here's a picture of what I looked like 12 years ago at age 45. It's a pretty incredible transformation, right? And I'll tell you a secret. Not only do I look and feel physically better than I did when I was in my mid-40s, I actually am physically healthier on all accounts. Now, that's not just me being boastful. I recently had a full panel of tests done at the Mayo Clinic, including DNA testing and cellular analysis. And they told me that from a biological, physiological, and cellular perspective, my body was the same as a 31-year-old's. That's a pretty remarkable thing to be told by some of the most respected doctors in the world. But it's even more remarkable when you consider that just three years ago, I almost lost my life because of my weight. The emergency room physician told my wife that most likely I only had around a few months left and that she should start preparing now for what life would be like for our children and even our grandchildren after I died. It was one hell of a rude awakening, especially because prior to the incident, I hadn't even realized I was in that bad of a shape. Sure, I knew I needed to lose a few pounds, that my pot belly was getting a little bigger month after month and year after year. Sure, I'd noticed that my sex drive was falling and that I never had any energy, and that even though I wanted to work out, I felt too lazy and lethargic to even go to the gym in the first place. But I didn't realize things were that bad. It all happened so quickly. The date was July 19, 2011, and I'd taken our youngest granddaughter, Bernita, out for ice cream. I can still remember how she smiled and laughed as we got out of my truck and walked through the doors of our neighborhood basket and robins. The way her childish face got so serious as she examined each of the 32 flavors in turn, debating with herself which one she should choose for her special treat. The way she squeezed my hand and said, Thank you, Grandpa, as I paid the kid at the register for our two scoop cones. And I can still remember the look of sheer terror in her eyes as she saw me drop down to one knee and bring my hands to my chest. How she began to scream and cry hysterically as I tried to gasp out that I needed help, but was physically unable to because of the pressure I felt in my throat. The sound of her ice cream splattering to the floor as she dropped her cone and began clutching frantically to me, too young to understand exactly what was happening, but old enough to know that it was something very, very wrong. After that, the next thing I fully remember is waking up in a hospital bed to the sight of my wife and children and grandchildren surrounding me their forced smiles and their red, raw eyes, tubes coming out of me, and a scar across my chest from where coronary artery bypass grafting had occurred, so that the doctor could literally jump over my clogged coronary arteries and get blood to my desperately deprived heart. How they hugged me and laughed and pretended everything was going to be okay, even while their eyes betrayed the horrible, gut-sickening realization that they all believed I was about to die. Two weeks later, as I was leaving the hospital, the chief physician came to see me. I was expecting him to provide some friendly words of encouragement or perhaps even add another prescription to the more than 10 medications he'd already prescribed. But instead, what he told me terrified me, shocked me, and ultimately saved my life. Even with clot-busting drugs, the blood thinners, the prescription-strength ibuprofen, and everything else we gave you, there is a 97% chance you will not make it more than six months, he started. The damage to your heart is simply too great 
your body's simply too damaged, and I don't think any of this can be reversed without some sort of miraculous change. The next heart attack may be your last. I was devastated and in a daze. I asked him if there was any hope at all, anything that could be done. Well, to start, you'd need to lose at least 50 pounds, he said, but you risk starving your body through a diet, which would speed up your decline. So, no, not really, not unless you can find a way to become 10 years younger overnight. I'm sorry. And then, that was it. I left the hospital with a death sentence, a ticking time bomb strapped to my chest. How did this happen? That's what I kept asking myself as I lay confined to my bed, too weak to stand for more than ten minutes at a time. It's not like I began eating more fast food, or that I had become lazier, at least not intentionally, or was a tobacco user, or really anything like that. Instead, around my fiftieth birthday, it seemed like things in my body just started to change. It started taking me longer to recover from my workouts at the gym and to get out of bed in the morning. My wife and I were having sex less and less often, and it wasn't because of her. It was because I was too tired, and sometimes, and this is embarrassing for me to admit, I had trouble standing at full attention when the moment came. And even though I hadn't changed my eating habits and was still exercising four to five times per week, it seemed like my belly kept getting a little bigger with each passing month, as if my stomach fat was getting more and more stubborn and refusing to leave, while the chest muscles I'd built were turning from rocks to little bean bags, even though I was still lifting regularly. Here's another thing that's kind of embarrassing for me to admit but I always had been sort of a health freak. Before the heart attack incident, I was trying all kinds of popular weight loss programs, meal plans, diet fads like going low-carb and gluten-free. The weight loss programs were all about restricting your diet, counting calories, and starving yourself. Not only did this seem unhealthy to me, but they didn't work at all. I was always hungry, and what I quickly discovered was that these diets put my body into survival mode where it desperately clung to all of the calories I was taking in and then converted them into fat because it was being deprived of energy, which meant I actually started to gain weight, while my muscles broke down even more quickly because they weren't getting the protein and other nutrients they needed to grow. And not just that, all these different programs sucked the money out of my pockets like a vacuum. And don't get me started about those meal plans, things like Nutrisystem and Weight Watchers. Nutrisystem cost me $284.99 a month, which would have been fine except the meals were tiny, frozen, and tasted like absolute crap. Plus, the actual ingredients in those things are garbage. They're laced with all kinds of preservatives, artificial ingredients, and weird chemicals I couldn't even pronounce. Weight Watchers was based on a stupid point system that was just as bad as any other diet program I'd already tried and failed. Plus, try feeling not embarrassed after telling a bunch of your friends that you're on Weight Watchers. And finally, I tried all of those more science-based diets. Things like gluten-free, low-carb, and the paleo diet. Well, only about 1% of Americans are actually allergic to gluten, and I was one of those 99% who were not, so that did nothing for me. Eating low-carb made me extremely weak and sick. Imagine trying to fill your body with enough energy by stuffing yourself full of meat and fats. Not only that, the latest research shows that low-carb diets actually raise your cholesterol. For example... A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition compared the blood cholesterol levels of individuals on a low-carb diet versus a high-carb diet over a period of six weeks. What they found out was that the increase in LDL, which is the bad cholesterol levels, in the low-carb group was 271% higher compared to the high-cholesterol group. And this turned out to be a very, very bad thing, as you saw what happened to me. I could have died then and there. It seems ridiculous in hindsight, but if you add up all the special avoidance diets, no one could eat anything. Nothing seemed to be helping me to really lose weight, regain more energy, or even feel better. And the end result of it all was me on the floor of an ice cream shop, clutching my heart and discovering that I was only an inch away from death's door. I felt like giving up. The doctor had told me that there was literally nothing I could do short of losing 50 pounds, which was obviously impossible or traveling back in time, which was also obviously impossible unless I happened to make a new friend with a time machine in his garage. So I started getting on the phone, reaching out to my friends and relatives, and saying goodbyes. It was so surreal. To have a conversation with some of your lifelong best friends where you essentially tell them that you love them, and soon you're going to leave them forever. Or to try explaining to your grandchildren that Grandpa won't be able to see them for much longer, but that they should try to be the best people they can be, to live a moral life, to love God and their country, 
to be respectful to others, to grow up to make me proud, as they cry and you cry. I felt like I wanted to die right then and there rather than go on watching their suffering. Actually, that's a good place for me to pause for a second because I want to make an important point. I'm not telling you any of this to be a sob story or for sympathy. I'm sharing my story with you because everything happened so fast, even though I didn't really think I was that unhealthy. I thought I was just starting to get old. That's the terrifying thing about aging. There's that ticking time bomb inside of you, and it starts counting down at a faster and faster rate. And whether it's cancer, or a heart attack, or a stroke, or diabetes, or whatever, suddenly, any day could be your last. Over the months that followed, I said my goodbyes. There was phone call after phone call, and friends and family from across the country flew out to see me, perhaps for the final time. More choked up conversations, more tears, a blacker and blacker mood hanging over my entire house. You get the picture. And that's where my story would have ended if a fateful and unexpected conversation hadn't saved my life. It was September 17, 2011, and my nephew Stephen had just arrived at our home. As we sat talking, I felt such conflicting emotions, a blend of pride for the man he'd become, and bitterness that I wouldn't be alive to see him continue to develop. He told me all about his young family and how he'd just bought a house, how he was already planning for retirement, and all about his work as a newly minted Ph.D. in biologist at one of the top universities on the West Coast, and working at a medical research facility, the things he was studying, the discoveries he was making, how much he loved his work. As the conversation winded down to the end, he asked me the hard questions. Wasn't there anything that could be done? Wasn't there any hope? But I just told him what the doctor had already told me, lose 50 pounds without exercising and without starving myself, become 10 years younger, things that were impossible because of my deteriorated physical state. And while I expected him to just nod an understanding and to say he was sorry, what he said next caught me completely off guard. I don't think that's impossible at all. It was just seven words, but they made me quick to anger. It was impossible, especially in my physical condition, especially with maybe a month or so left, especially because, unless we're talking about a science fiction novel, you can't turn back the hands of time and especially because I'd already tried every possible way to regain my health with zero results. But even as I told him all of that, his expression still didn't change. Hear me out, he said. There's something I've been working on, and I think it could save you. He then proceeded to tell me about an extremely controversial theory he was developing. Stephen believed that there were three common health and wellness myths that virtually everyone has been tricked into thinking were undisputable fact but that are absolutely and severely poisoning their health while sending their bodies and metabolisms into a horrific state of shock. The first myth, according to Stephen, has to do with our diets. Specifically, it has to do with the way both our misguided insistence on counting calories and following ultra-restrictive weight loss plans, and the way we're constantly being told to consume so many supposed health foods, like fresh fruits and vegetables, are actually slowing our metabolism to a crawl while putting us at risk for many of the most dangerous, deadly, and irreversible diseases known to mankind. Now, at first, this might sound counterintuitive. After all, why would eating less health foods and consuming more calorie-rich foods actually help us to lose weight and be healthier? Well, as Stephen explained, when it comes to dieting, you are, by definition, severely limiting the amount of nutrients that enter your body. This forces your body into starvation and shock, where it becomes highly stressed and immediately stores whatever calories you do consume as fat so that it has an emergency supply for later. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Because also inherent in almost every diet is the edict that you increase the amount of fresh fruits and vegetables you eat. Everyone wants to tell you that more fresh fruits and vegetables are essential to healthy living. The problem, Stephen said, is that following this advice is one of the most surefire ways to put your metabolism in slow motion while increasing body fat and damaging your cells. The reason why, he explained, has to do with your thyroid. The thyroid plays a huge part in the regulation of your body's metabolism as well as the growth and health of your cells and even your body's temperature. And when your thyroid doesn't function properly, it can't fuel your metabolism like it should, which means the calories inside the foods you consume are stored as fat instead of being converted into energy. The problem is that while fruits and vegetables do contain vitamins and some fiber, they're also low density low energy, and don't have many of the essential nutrients your thyroid needs to function properly. To just take one comparison here, 
If you look at the nutritional content of 100 grams of blueberries versus 100 grams of beef liver, you quickly discover that beef liver has at least a dozen times more vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin B12, folate, calcium, potassium, iron, and zinc than does that little blue superfruit. So the issue is that by obsessing over fruits and veggies and reducing your intake of foods that are high in protein, fat, carbs, starches, salt, and even calories, you are depriving your thyroid of the nutrients it needs to function properly. Not only does this lead to calories not being turned into energy, fat being stored rather than burned, and you constantly feeling exhausted, it also means that toxins and other cancer and disease-causing free radicals that enter your body never get broken down. That brings us to the second deadly myth you've been forced fed for your entire life, that you need to be exercising four to five times per week to stay healthy and skinny. When you exercise, you burn energy. That's what exercise is. The problem is that exercise also places a tremendous amount of stress on your metabolism. That's because when it comes to running or lifting weights, the harder you work out, the harder your metabolism has to work to keep up with you. So, if you're constantly hitting the treadmill, your metabolism is constantly having to be in overdrive. When that happens, it doesn't get the chance to rest or heal, and instead it is, you guessed it, kept in a constant state of shock. And that, of course, brings us to the third completely misguided and deadly myth that health and wellness experts have been forcing down your throat. Hydration. If you've ever tried to follow the recommended guidelines and drink eight 8-ounce eight glasses of water per day, you've probably quickly found out that doing so requires you to drink a lot of water when you're not even thirsty. Do you know of another animal on the planet that drinks water when it's not thirsty? Neither did I, and neither did Stephen. We're told that our pee should be clear, but every other creature on the planet has yellow urine. If an animal pee is clear, a veterinarian would think that the animal is very sick. When you consider the above, it kind of makes sense why drinking eight glasses of water is a completely misguided approach. It's a classic one-size-fits-all solution to an infinitely complex issue, and it doesn't take into account body weight, health, or your level of daily activity. And in most cases, they're leading to massive overhydration, which yet again places an incredible amount of stress on your body, sending it into shock mode. And when your body's in shock mode, your metabolism slows down, cells get damaged, and you get fat and sick. Ultimately, this idea of shock was at the core of everything Stephen was saying, whether it's going on an extreme diet, overloading on fruits and veggies, hitting the treadmill for a seemingly innocent four times per week, or even just drinking glass after glass of water. All of these tiny little things add up over time. They keep your metabolism in a subpar state where it struggles to function like it should and ends up damaging yourself. And they make it impossible to lose the weight you want to or regain your youthful vitality or to even stave off disease. Well, the more I thought about everything Stephen had just told me, the more sense it made. It explained why my diets always failed. After all, if I was always counting calories and starving myself, then clearly my metabolism didn't have any energy to burn in the first place. Plus, almost every single diet or healthy eating plan in existence tells you to eat more fruits and vegetables. Hell, I'd certainly done just that, but all I was really doing was depriving my thyroid and metabolism of the nutrients they needed to function properly. Obviously, that also explained why I was always feeling bloated, as I forced myself to drink glass after glass of water, even when I wasn't thirsty at all. And why the more I worked out at the gym, the less energy I seemed to have, the more difficult I found focusing and concentrating the next day, the more my body ached. So, yeah, it all made sense, except there was a pretty big red flag, at least from my perspective, because, and as I told Stephen, what the hell did any of it matter? I had maybe a few more months to live, and so sorry not to be a jerk, but I wish you told me this like three years ago. Thankfully, my nephew must have inherited a strong sense of patience and compassion for my sister, because for a second time that day, he minded my outburst without so much as a flinch. It matters, he said, because you still have time to reverse this. I promise. With that, Stephen walked out of the room and didn't return to see me for two days. And when he did... He was carrying a small yellow legal pad containing about 15 pages. He said inside those pages was everything I would need to repair the cells in my body and turn my metabolism back into the raging furnace it once was. He called it his drug-free prescription, and he made me swear that I would follow it after he had left. 
Well, if I'm being completely honest, what he wrote down wasn't even really that complicated, and trying it seemed kind of pointless anyways, as I was about to die. But then, what other options did I have? What else was I going to do with my final month anyway? Lay in bed heaving, popping ten different medications that weren't working, and try to count the bed sores that were popping up all over my body? And so, despite my reservations, I started reading through Stephen's plan. I committed to following it, and I waited to die. But four days into Stephen's prescription, something weird happened. I slept through the entire night, and woke up feeling more energized and alert than I had in months. In fact, I felt so good that I even got out of bed, went into the kitchen, and started cooking a surprise breakfast for my wife. Now, don't go rolling your eyes here, because no, I wasn't miraculously cured, and it was only a few minutes until my completely unamused wife was marching me back to bed and berating me for being an idiot. She was right, by the way, and I soon got stuck with a wave of exhaustion and slept for six more hours. But still, it was a surprising development, and I couldn't help but wonder if Stephen's plan might have something to do with it. Well, as the days went by, it started becoming more and more likely that Stephen just might be onto something. As I was sleeping through the nights, I was waking up with more energy, and it was lasting longer. I started feeling more and more mentally focused, even with all of those stupid medications floating around inside my body. And this was the most interesting part of it all. Even though Stephen's plan had me eating fewer salads, fruits, and other bland foods that society has been telling us we should be shoveling into our mouths in droves, and more foods with a higher salt content, with more starch, with more fats, I actually began losing weight at an accelerated rate to the clip of almost a pound per day. But even with this rapid weight loss, I didn't feel tired. And that's what was incredible. I was having more energy, feeling stronger, looking healthier, and yet I was drinking sweet tea, tearing into beef jerky, scooping down bowls of ice cream, basically doing all the things you'd think someone who'd recently had a massive heart attack should absolutely avoid. And, as you can well imagine, at first my wife was furious that I was doing this. She wouldn't even get me the foods I wanted, so I had to get one of my neighbors to go off to the grocery store and sneak me off the stuff Stephen had prescribed to me when she wasn't around. But as she saw firsthand the way my body was rapidly transforming, how I was getting out of bed and spending hours on my feet without getting tired or struggling to breathe, how my physique was actually more defined even though I wasn't exercising whatsoever, she eventually came around and started making those trips to the grocery store for me, grabbing the Gatorade, the steaks, and other surprising foods I'd requested. And then, on October 27, 2011, I got the best news of my entire life. My wife had driven me to the hospital and my attending physician was running through a whole battery of tests. The first thing he said was that I actually looked pretty good and that he was surprised by this. But his initial surprise was nothing compared to the absolute shock he experienced as he viewed my test results. I don't understand, he began. This doesn't make sense. Your blood pressure is 110 over 80. That's literally the ideal blood pressure, but it's typically only found in kids and 20-somethings. Your resting heart rate is about 50 beats per minute, which is something we typically only see in professional athletes. Your LDL or cholesterol level is about 70, which is, again, just about as perfect as you can get. And you've lost 53 pounds. But you don't look starved or emaciated or sickly. You actually look dramatically healthier. None of this makes sense. We need to run more tests. And so run more tests he did, but the results just kept him flabbergasted. The ultrasound showed that my heart was completely normal. All of the restricted blood flow had disappeared, my arteries were naturally becoming unclogged, and most incredibly, the actual muscle tissue in my heart seemed to be repairing itself. Did you pray, the doctor asked? Because I don't have any other way to describe this besides a miracle. Well, the last month I was supposed to live came and went. Then, so did another month, and another month, and another month. Soon, I was off all of my medications entirely. The only time I spent in bed was at night when I slept. And my body was pulsing with energy. I felt strong. My physique had better tone than it had since I was 30 years old. My sex drive was like a roaring jet engine. And in every measurable way, I was not just back to normal but actually physically healthier than 98% of the population. And two days before Christmas, on December 23, 2011, I took my granddaughter Bernita back to the ice cream shop where I'd collapsed just six months before, 
I held her hand as we both ate our double scoop cones and hugged her as the tears streamed down her little cheeks, and she said, I was so scared, Grandpa. I love you so much. Friends and family alike were amazed by what had happened. They called me and asked me what my secret was, if there was some sort of experimental medication I had taken. Many of them had their own health conditions they were scared about, things like high cholesterol, diabetes, even life-threatening prostate cancer. Others simply were struggling with their weight. They'd been putting on pounds for years, their stomachs were swelling, diets weren't working, and they were tired of feeling unattractive and out of shape. So, with Stephen's blessing, I began to share the drug-free prescription he'd given me with dozens of friends and family members, and then soon their friends, and their friends' friends. Suddenly there were hundreds of people doing the exact same thing I'd done, and, across the board, their results were the same. A dramatic reduction in body fat, an incredible increase in energy, optimal readings for all their vitals, perfect health. And as I received emotional call after emotional call from both people I knew well and complete strangers, thanking me for sharing this plan with them and for changing their lives, it became clear that I had a new calling in life to get this newfound health knowledge to as many people as possible. Because really, I shouldn't have been alive. What Stephen gave me saved my life, and I'd have to be a pretty ungrateful SOB if I didn't pay it forward and help others to beat the odds and regain their health, their vitality, and their youth. Stephen and I discussed the best way to get his prescription out to the public. He approached his university with a detailed scientific analysis of what he discovered and used me and a few hundred other people as case studies of its effectiveness. The biology and medicine department chairs both told him it was amazing, but that they couldn't publish it or even support him, because even though his total wellness theory had been proven in hundreds of instances, it didn't recommend taking any medication. And as 95% of their funding came from the pharmaceutical conglomerates, they just couldn't risk angering the corporations and having their financial lifeline cut off. Well, that sure made us mad. I mean, furiously mad. How dare they suppress something that could save millions of lives both right now and over the course of years by preventing heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and other serious diseases associated with being overweight. We thought about trying to sell it to one of the weight loss corporations since they might do a better job of marketing it and getting the word out the Jenny Craigs, the Weight Watchers, the Nutrisystems of the world. But there was no way they would want this, because it wasn't set up to create recurring income for them. It was set up to give people the tools they needed to stay healthy for life. And if they were to promote something like this, it would kill their businesses and topple their empires. That really left only one viable option, which was to take this directly to the public. So Stephen and I got to work. We took his yellow notepad prescription, and turned it into a fully organized, simple to follow, total wellness guide. We made a list of dozens of surprising foods you should be adding to your diet right now if you want to lose weight, repair damaged cells, and reverse the effects of aging in as little as a few short weeks. And a list containing all of the supposed health foods that are secretly destroying your health, the absolute worst fruits and vegetables, beverages, even meats. Plus, we added recommended daily servings for each of these, effectively creating a new food pyramid something that's sure to piss off everyone from big agriculture to Dr. Atkins, but that is essential to your long-term health. Of course, we didn't stop there. Beyond just listing out the good and bad foods you'd need, we also created a 30-day kickstart plan, a specific schedule containing the foods and drinks you should consume on a regular basis, and in what quantities and portions, if you want to lose 30 pounds or more, and physiologically reverse your age by as much as 10 years in one single month. Everything is presented in step-by-step -step fashion, it's easy to understand, and we give you all of the science behind what we're doing. We also give you several home tests that you can perform to personally monitor your health and the current state of your metabolism without having to pay a single cent to the doctor's office or your insurance companies using just a few tools from your local pharmacy that cost less than $15. We've nicknamed this guide the Weight Destroyer Program. And out of the more than 79,000 others just like you who have tried it for themselves, the average first month weight loss is about 37 pounds. People like Derek Rudd of Los Cruces, New Mexico, who lost 41 pounds in the first month. And Barrett Myrtle in Spokane, Washington, who lost 46 pounds in seven weeks. And Kathy Goodson of Reno, Nevada, who lost more than 53 pounds in two months. 
It's important to understand, however, that this just isn't about a quick fix. Yes, you will lose weight, repair damaged cells, and rejuvenate your body rapidly. But the program is also designed to make 100% certain that you keep that weight off for good. That's actually what makes Stephen's prescription so unique and special. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach to your health. We simply give you the tools and knowledge you need to achieve your optimal level of health. We show you the why and the how and let you approach your health in the way that works best for you. That's also why we give you those tests so you can monitor your own metabolic rate and internal health on your own and make adjustments to your diet as you see fit. There's no calorie counting or meal portions or other harsh rules that you have to follow. There's no point system or massive list of restricted foods. There's no monthly subscription or prepackaged frozen meals to buy or junk-filled supplement plans. And there's certainly no extreme exercise plans because, like we've already discussed, exercising for more than 30 minutes or so a day, a few days a week, will deplete your energy and starve your body the nutrients it needs to survive. So if you just want to burn away 7 pounds of belly fat, you'll find out how to adjust your diet to do just that inside. Or if you need to lose 70 pounds, you'll find out how to adjust your diet to do just that too. And even if you're not interested in weight loss, but just want to feel healthier, repair your cells so that they can destroy the free radicals that are aging you and putting you at the risk of deadly cancer and disease, Weight Loss Destroyer will tell you exactly what you need to do in order to make that happen. So given everything that's above, it should be pretty clear that there's nothing else like the Weight Destroyer program on planet Earth. It's a fully loaded chest that's filled with the tools you need to not only quickly lose weight and regain your physique, but completely turn around your entire health, even if you're severely ill and already knocking at death's door like I was. Of course, that's not to say there aren't other options out there, but think about those for a second. You could continue to try every new fad diet that hits the marketplace, but the simple fact is, none of them work. It's why the average person tries four to five diets per year and fails. You could count calories and starve your body into survival mode, where, by the way, it will start hoarding the few bits of nutrients that do enter your body and store them as fat to be used at a future date, or start ordering salads every time you go out to eat and having a bowl of fresh fruit in the morning when you wake up. I used to think that was a great idea, until I realized that doing this was wrecking my metabolism. You could spend $200 per month on tiny, frozen, and unsatisfying meals from companies like Nutrisystem, but these programs depend on you continuing to order their products month after month, year after year, which means $2,400 per year spent on incomplete, unhealthy nutrition. Oh right, then there are weight loss pills, because tricking your body into thinking it's not hungry or pumping your heart rate up to crackhead levels is a really good idea, right? Of course not, and you already know that. All of those weight loss pills on the market are nothing but neatly packaged drugs. Nutraceuticals spend billions per year marketing their latest and greatest product to you, until suddenly people start dying and the FDA pulls them off the market, a la ephedra, fenfen, DMAA, and cybutramine. Finally, you could have your doctor keep prescribing you more and more medications for your cholesterol, your blood pressure, your thyroid, and your circulation. Do that and you suddenly become a walking tub of chemicals. And as each medication comes with a ridiculous list of side effects, you'll soon find yourself in a vicious cycle of adding medication after medication. Think I'm being dramatic? The ASCP estimates that the average 80-year-old takes about 18 prescription medications per year. And you can be damn sure they didn't start out with 18 of those medications. They just kept snowballing. And then, there's the Weight Destroyer program. You aren't subject to strict rules. You don't starve yourself. You don't take pills or medications. You don't become a gym rat. You simply follow the simple, biology-based guidelines inside add more of the foods you want to be eating back into your diet, and reap the immediate but permanent results of optimal health for decades to come. And considering that Stevens and my program has already been validated both by the scientific community and by more than 79,000 others just like you, it should be pretty clear why, when we first brought it to market, we thought about charging $297 for access to it. After all, that's dramatically less than what you'll pay for a year's worth of doctor's visits prescription meds, and health insurance premiums. It's much less than what you'd pay for a single month on a meal plan like Nutrisystem, and even less than what you'd pay for just five personal training sessions. And yet, once you have access to the program, the food lists, the 30-day kickstart plan, 
the simple and unrestrictive healthy eating guidelines, the home wellness tests, all of which are completely scalable to your specific needs. You will enjoy permanent health. You will lose as many pounds as you want to as fast as you want to. You will reverse the effects of aging on a cellular level. You will reduce your risk of disease by 90% or more in just a few short months. And that's not even mentioning the things that can't be measured in money. The security and comfort of knowing that you'll be there for your spouse, your children, even your grandchildren for decades to come. That you'll have the health to retain your independence well into your 80s, 90s, perhaps even to the age of 100 while enjoying the golden years you've earned, taking incredible vacations, visiting family, pursuing all of your hobbies. And while you're doing all of it, you won't look old or feel old. People will be coming up to you and asking, what's your secret? And the answer, you're lying when you tell them you're real age, like you're a prankster who's having a laugh at their expense. But you'll know the truth, and so will the ones who depend on you with their lives. So, yes, we think $297 is a steal, and a lot of people have written us saying we should be charging a lot more. But you know what? This isn't about money. The Weight Destroyer program that Stephen gave me saved my life. I should be dead, rotting in the ground six feet under right now. But instead, I've been liberated from every single major health concern. I'm having the best sex of my life. And according to some of the best doctors in the world, I am biologically about 31 years old even though my real age is 57. What kind of man would I be if I tried to get rich off a second chance at life? How could I look at myself in the mirror? I couldn't, which is why you're not going to have to pay anywhere close to $297 to get your hands on the Weight Destroyer program today. In fact, you won't even have to pay $197 or $97, which is less than the cost of two personal training sessions or two weeks on Nutrisystem. Instead, when you say yes to the Weight Destroyer program today and you make the commitment to save your own life while regaining the physique and vitality you haven't experienced in 10, 20, 30, even 40 years, you'll simply be asked to help cover our administrative, website maintenance and distribution costs by investing a meager $39.95 in your permanent health and wellness. If you want to make that decision today and to be given a simple, easy to follow, and scientifically backed way to rapidly lose weight while turning back the clock, act now by clicking the Add to Cart button below. As soon as you've hit that button, you'll be taken to our secure checkout page that looks like this. And once you've entered your information, you'll gain instant access to the entire Weight Destroyer program. You'll be able to view the food lists, the guide, the 30-day fast start plan, and everything else right from your computer, tablet, or smartphone without waiting weeks for things to arrive in the mail. You can download all of the materials or even print out as many copies as you'd like and begin the program five minutes from now. The permanent and total solution to your health and wellness is just 30 seconds away and all it takes is the click of a button. So go ahead and make your move now. And if you're still feeling hesitant, there's one other thing I should mention to you. Your investment today is covered by a 100% 60-day money-back, no-questions-asked guarantee. I realize that telling you that you should be eating less fruits and veggies, drinking less water, going to the gym more, while adding more salt, starch, and fat to your diet sounds pretty damn crazy. And even though 79,411 others just like you have already tried this mad method and shed their unwanted body fat successfully, even though we have thousands of stories of people who are struggling with cancer, with heart disease, even with diabetes, but who suddenly saw their health fully restored and their diseases vanish, often in as little as a month, that you still may need a little push in the right direction. Stephen and I both know that this can be the single most important decision you ever make in your life. And we could never live with ourselves if we didn't do everything within our power to get it into your hands. Which is why all we ask is that you say maybe to the Weight Destroyer program right now by pushing the Add to Cart button you see below this video. Then, go get your instant access to the guide, the lists, the quick start plan, everything. Start following it. Find out what foods you need to take out of your diet, which ones you need to add. Find out how much water you really should be drinking each day. And get the simple home test that will monitor your health and results, forcing you to stick yourself with needles or do blood work or be stuffed in an MRI and experience the transformation for yourself. Take a full two months to try this out for yourself. And if for any reason you're not satisfied, 
or you see the pounds drop off and your health rapidly restored, simply send an email to the address we'll give you in the members only area and we will immediately refund you the amount you invested within 24 hours with no questions asked. We're taking all of the risk here and you're reaping all of the benefits and that's fine. This is about reclaiming your life and if on the extremely low chance you're not happy, we don't want you to pay a single dime. The choice should be an easy one, but we can't guarantee how long this website will remain up, so get started now by clicking the Add to Cart button below. Every day, Stephen and I face mounting pressure from everyone, from Big Pharma to the weight loss and supplement industry. They're threatening to sue us. They're threatening to hack our website, which means that if you're ready to stop dieting, stop calorie counting, stop wasting your life at the gym, stop being a slave to your medications, you must act now by clicking the Add to Cart button you see below this video screen. This presentation is about to end. There's only a few seconds left to make this 100% risk-free decision, and ultimately, whether or not you want to reclaim decades of perfect health is something only you can choose. You could just let this video end, and then click away without trying Weight Destroyer for yourself. That's fine, and it's certainly your right. But if you make that decision, what's going to change? Are you going to try another diet that doesn't work? Clearly, none of these diets really work in the long run, or you wouldn't be seeing a new health craze sweeping our nation every couple of years, making empty promises to succeed where the last one failed. Are you going to keep exhausting yourself at the gym without the results you want, waking up feeling tired every morning with aching joints and a fog around your brain? How will you lose the weight you need to? How will you repair the damaged cells inside your body? How will you stay immune from cancer and other life-ending diseases. Will you decide to just do nothing at all and let your health remain a ticking time bomb, something that will blow up in your face at any second, just like what happened to me? None of these options are real solutions, and you already know that, which is why you need to click Add to Cart below and try the Weight Destroyer program for yourself right now, 100% risk-free. Get the guides, the food lists, the quick start plan, the home tests, everything. See how easy it is to burn away the fat that's been clinging to your body for years, to turn your metabolism into a Formula One race engine, to maintain healthy cellular levels that can fight disease, the leaf-free radicals, and make you decades younger in a matter of weeks. The choice is yours, but you already know what you need to do. To a long and healthy life, I'm Michael Wren. Still here? That's okay. I know that we covered a lot of stuff in this presentation and that you still may have some questions about what you just saw. To make things easier for you, I'll go ahead and take a few seconds now to answer some of the most common questions people ask me about the Weight Destroyer program. 1. How is it possible that eating less fruits and vegetables, drinking less water, and eating more salts, fats, starches, and sugars can actually help me to lose weight and become healthier? Well, like I mentioned during the presentation you just saw, a lot of these health foods actually cause shock and trauma to your metabolism and your thyroid because they don't contain the nutrients they need to function properly. That means they can't convert the food you eat and the drinks you drink into energy. Instead, all of the calories you consume get turned and stored as fat, and all of the excess toxins and free radicals leak back out into your body where they promote the rampant growth of disease. That's why if you really want to rev up your metabolism, you need to balance the metabolism inside your body. That means eating foods that are more diverse in nutrients and that help with cellular absorption. Salty foods are great for this, as are starches and even certain types of fats. It might sound weird to hear that eating fat can help you burn fat, but that's exactly what I'm saying. Because remember, you don't get fat by eating fat. You get fat because your metabolism doesn't have the energy it needs to break down that fat. Certain fats, especially trans fats, are like rocket fuel for your cells. They provide the energy needed for your metabolism to burn hot which in turn allows you to burn away those excess pounds. Plus, and this is important, having properly balanced metabolism means your cells are fully functioning and not damaged. That's big time because damaged cells can't fight off toxins and free radicals, which puts your body at risk of developing cancer and other serious diseases. 2. Who will this program work for? The Weight Destroyer program can help anyone at any age to lose weight and turn back the clock. There's no dangerous medications or food deprivation here. Instead, it's just about adding more of the foods you love and less of the foods you'd rather not be eating anyway. And of course, 
It's about doing that in an intelligent fashion. 3. So is this a weight loss program or what? Yes and no. You will lose weight on this program, but that's not all. Because you'll be undergoing a fundamental transformation, your cells will be healed, your body will become stronger, and you'll be measurably healthier, and you'll even be physiologically younger. So, in other words, weight loss is just one of the many benefits you can expect. 4. What's included in this program exactly? Inside, you get a comprehensive list of foods that you can add to your diet to balance your metabolism and reduce internal shock. You also get a list of foods that you probably should be cutting back on. Beyond that, you get specific recommended daily serving sizes for everyone and a 30-day quick start that leads to an average weight loss of 35 pounds in the first 30 days. You also get a series of home tests that you can do for free and that will help you monitor your metabolic rate and whether or not your internal levels are balanced. But the best part about all of this is that there's no one-size-fits-all thing here. Instead, you're being shown the why behind everything, and you'll get the tools you need to make intelligent decisions about what to eat and not eat based on the current internal state of your body. 5. What happens after I click Add to Cart? Once you've clicked the Add to Cart button that's right below this video, you'll be taken to the secure checkout page. Just enter your information and you'll then be given instant access to the entire Weight Destroyer program. You can view all the materials, the lists, the guides right on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. You can also download everything and print out as many copies as you'd like. 6. Tell me about that guarantee again. Sure. Because this program saved my life and I truly believe it can give you back decades of healthy living as well, I want to make it as easy as possible for everyone to get their hands on it. And that means removing all of the risk, so that it's a no-brainer decision for you. So, once you've clicked that Add to Cart button below, you get a full 60 days to try the program out for yourself. And if you're not satisfied for any reason whatsoever, you simply send me an email, and I'll refund the entire investment today with no questions asked. 7. How long will this program be available for? That's hard to say. Obviously, Stephen and I want to keep this presentation online as long as possible, and we want to help as many people as possible. There are a lot of powerful interests, however, that are very determined to shut us down. If we get hit with a lawsuit from one of the diet conglomerates or even Big Pharma, we might have to take this website offline. So in other words, if you're ready to change your life, you have to act right now. 8. Okay, I'm ready to change my life. What's the next step? Simply click the Add to Cart button below now, get the entire program, and be protected by a 60-day, 100% money-back guarantee. You have absolutely nothing to lose, but your entire life to regain.